Hey guys, we're gonna do a little 2D vehicle design in this one. And we're gonna use this in another video and play around with creating them in 3D. But uh, for this one, we're just gonna create the vehicle from a side view. It's really quite simple. Uh, you could try doing perspective if you want, but if you're not the greatest artist in the world, you might wanna just approach it from the side view. Uh, you're gonna have a lot of leeway when you go into 3D. You kind of change the dimensions and uh, features and all that. But uh, we're going to just keep it really loose and have fun with this. Okay, so use a line tool here in Krita. I'm um, going to use a pencil. We'll start on a new layer. Okay. Click, drag, hold shift. This is what you need first. Okay. About three evenly spaced lines. The top one can be a little bit smaller in proportion to the bottom spacing, right? So once you do that, you can turn, well, create a layer. Do that in a sec. The tire would go about midway, something like this. So click, drag, hold shift, create that. Okay. Now I'm going to duplicate it in Control J. I'm going to select it by pressing T and selecting it. Hold, uh, start moving it actually, and hold shift and just drag it apart from the other one. This is your wheelbase. How far these are set, uh, spread apart is going to determine really how this vehicle looks overall in a big way. So. Uh, you might change this later on. You're not set in stone with this. Just keep that in mind. Okay. I'm going to select all these layers with the background lines. Right. Control G. Select all of them. Group them together. The group itself dropped the opacity. So it's like so. Click the plus on. And now we can actually start sketching on this thing. I'm going to use the pencil to sketch. Okay. And a lot of designers, what they end up doing are usually establishing like big curves first. Right. And so you can do that on a new layer. Uh, you can play around with the overall shape, like a you know cyber truck, right? Something a little bit more like that, right? Something a little bit more rounded if you want it. Okay. And in the case of exotics, a lot of times the wheels sit a little bit above the hood or near the exact point of the hood, something like that. And the cab section would come up potentially to the top line. Uh, I think that's a little too high personally, so I'm going to go a little bit lower than that, but. So you can establish that curve, develop your overall form here, right? And play around with it. You just kind of tweak the, uh, the sketch or the drawing as you go through it. So these, these big shapes, you, you'll oftentimes create little cuts in, in different directions. And you want to parallel lines, right? And you'll see this happening all over the place. So if this was like the window and I did this, back here I might do that. Right, something like that maybe. Okay, and let's see how this plays out here. So first up, I don't really know the exact curve I want, but I do know I want. Like, I don't know. You can do all kinds of things. Like if you want, like the cockpit area, like where the think where the passenger would sit. Right, back here, and you want to put the window way back here. You can do that. You'd have an extremely long hood. We could do something like that. Loosely sketch. Use a tablet for sure while sketching. Let me chop the back off a little bit and then uh, run it kind of at an opposing angle. Maybe we leave it going out like this. Who knows? It's up to you. But we can kind of play around with these shapes now. And come up with our own vehicle design, which is the best part. You can draw over the tire if you want, it doesn't matter. You can even do the interior, technically. If you wanted to put like a seat in here. Do things like that as well. And you can put like the dashboard area, center console. Uh, but you, then you'll lose focus on the uh, outside. It's better to do that on a new layer, just so you know. Don't do that necessarily right now. If you're going for the body, you want some larger fenders, right? Something like that. Okay. Let's loosely sketch. Have fun. Don't don't try to make a great car off the bat. It's never going to work out. Just make something that looks okay and then work it out. Okay. Kind of digging this little shape here. So the soft eraser, use that. Knocking 
you don't have to erase completely. You can you can kind of work things out a little bit so that maybe they become slightly transparent. Just real faint. You can see what we're get, we got going on now, right? Very easy to do this. Very quick too. And um, we get addicted to it. I think once you once you understand like how easy it is. Maybe you want like a little splitter here. Right. You just design your own splitter real quick. Not a big deal. You want like little sections coming down like that or something. I don't know. It's up to you. Maybe this is a headlight. So we can design the shape of the headlight. Might come out of the side here. Maybe this. You can also press E to turn the eraser on for our pencil right now. See how easy this is? You're establishing those big curves first. And you're just going for it. Uh, this is something I kind of not only picked up in a few design videos, but I was watching the, uh, the guy that does the designs for Ferrari. Um, talking about his designs anyways, and I was noticing that a lot of his drawings, he's, he very much emphasizes the overall shape first, like that. It's very gestatorial, like it's not like a big smooth curve. And so what you can take from that idea is that if you're designing vehicles, and especially exotics, the thing is, is that um, a single edge by itself um, can look pretty good, right? But even better than that is when you start to combo edges together and you fade them in and out of each other. Um, kind of creates like if a uh, a single edge is the uh, the note of a song or something, then all the edges combined together end up becoming the symphony, right? It's a big collaboration of edges with just really good flows to them usually. And that's just going to allow you to kind of build up off of the idea of what it is you're creating. You don't have to be a great artist either. Look at some blueprints and see how they are, the lines flow through it. They're really simple. See, like this one's going to come back and fade in this area, maybe. Erase in there. Erase in here a little bit. Maybe these come to a point instead of rounding out. Do that. I think I'm going to round it out, though. It can be kind of junky at first, it doesn't matter. Because you can always go back and continue to work it. Overall, that big shape, you can see, kind of. Identify it later on as well. Let's see if it's just looking right to you. Okay. Let's say you got the wheelbase wrong. Like maybe this cab is in the wrong position. You can just use the uh, freehand selection tool or lasso tool in Photoshop. Move things around a little bit. Push that forward a little. About right there, maybe. Maybe it's a little too small now. Make it bigger. I like that. And press enter. There you go. Keep working. So if you move like the front or the rear in, in or out, you got to move the tire too, just so you know. But keep it on its own layer. Do it after you do the body adjustment. So. I'm bringing this back down and oh, color simple. Not what I want. Bring it back down in this direction. Bring it out completely flat. Round it out here. 
mat, a little bit more rounded. So you can do square shapes, triangular shapes to get started. Um, and you can always round those out as well. So if you just want to go through this with a line tool, you can literally do that. You can say, like, I want this line to go all the way like through this area here. Right. So you can figure out exactly what you want. You can do that. You don't want to take all that away. Maybe change the curvature of the window a little bit. It's a pillar or a little slung. That. So a good little bit of balance could take place later on with these little smaller edges like this. Uh, but that line tool, like I was saying, you just literally go to town with it and just try a line somewhere, see if it looks right. Curve it out later if needed. Something like that maybe. Right. I prefer just sketching it really loose. Reset the brush real quick. Just see what it looks like and then keep moving. So that one, I don't even know if I want that little round piece to it. I think it looks better this way. And then add your sci-fi elements if you want. You know, if you're making sci-fi vehicles, make make your sci-fi elements. The little drop down here for some reason. You know, a part of the door or something. Maybe this door opens right along the window almost. And it comes back and... Oh. Don't forget, this is a, supposed to be a 3D object, so you can kind of create little ideas of the um, the dimensions there. And this section looks really ridiculous, so let's use a soft eraser, knock it back. Let's see what I can do in here a little bit different. There's no travel room for the wheel, so that might be an issue, but I'm going to think about suspension too. I think I'm going to push that out a little bit. Drop this in here. Pull that out straighter like that. Do a little like Eleanor. Kind of like Shelby GT500 look maybe. Always like that little vent right there for some reason. Air scoop or whatever you want to call it. Pull this back in. So usually these can sit a little on the outside of the wheel, but it, you don't want to cover the wheel so it can turn, you know? Something like that maybe. would look pretty good with some like a side exhaust right in this area It's just loosely sketch, like lightly sketch. I said, I said loose enough. Lightly sketch around. Add a spoiler if you want. Nothing wrong with that. A little spoiler and then make it look like it wraps back to the other side, perhaps a little bit. If you can. Sometimes it's hard to sell that, but give it like some old like it's got some kind of like old GTO looks and it looks like rx8 at the front or whatever so a lot of the cars you've looked at the ones you've liked or all that sticks in your head for some reason yeah we'll do this one in here bring it out like that 
is why not? My spoiler strap me up. Let's cut it off in a line. Gotta do something like this. Yeah, I still can't get it quite right. We'll just leave it like that. I know what I'm trying to go for, but I'm not able to hit it apparently. Trace that line, this line, knock it back right here. It's distracting. All right, so what is this telling us? Oh, sometimes this fender comes out quite a bit. Uh, you draw it like this, right? Almost every blueprint you ever look at will be just like an indication or a marker that it exists. It's not really like rendered full on out, right? Same things happen with like when these blend back in. We'll do something like that, right? All right, so this point we just need this little section the door would come out it'd probably come into this area we'll keep it simple for now i don't know if that'll actually function as far as opening i'll we'll have to test that one in 3d see what happens should be able to with the right angles but it might change the design a little bit and also i think this area right here at the front much as I like it, it's just a little too far forward. Just come back a little bit like that. Yeah. So yeah. So don't be afraid to move things around. It's gonna help you out so much. And then pick that wheel. Okay. Right? Move it and hold shift. Start moving it and hold shift so you can keep it on the uh, the same line that you were on. That better. Go back to your sketching layer. I want to start cleaning this up a little bit. Knock it off the uh, random line here or there. Kind of working some of the line weights out a little bit. Line weight is the thickness of the line. I just want to get it to a point where I like it. Um, I can see what's going on here and making some a little bit more. You can do the rims. I'm not going to do them. This one, but you do one tire and then literally pull it to the front and put it up there too, unless you want two different types of rims or something. See, like this works out pretty well. This should be real faint in here. I don't need to make that like super bold or nothing. Same for that one, maybe. This whole area is, can go. That can be a little indication it, it exists, but it doesn't have to be super bold either. All right, and you can add shading. If you really wanted to, you can add shading. Make it look really, really good. Put textures on it or whatever. Livery, decals. Sketch whatever you think you need. One with that, right? I'm going to chisel this top here just a little bit. It's going to turn a little bit flatter. I'm going to flatten it out a bit. Then pull it back down right here. Not real sure what I want to do in here, though. Tell the illusion of that. Don't do that bold. All right, so this is going to give that impression that this section becomes a line here as well, all the way through. You know what I'm saying? And this can come down like that. I'm going to work that a little bit softer. You could split that there. Just a little bit. Um, but you... You also, you know, think you got to work on this vehicle. You got to access the engine, stuff like that, right? So think about where you're going to put lines for the hood to open. I think I'll do it all the way down there. 
maybe like a trunk. <laughs> yeah, if you have one. In this case, I think we're just going to do a back window. We'll put that in. This line right here, I don't feel like turns flat enough, maybe. So I want to create a little separation between those two. Maybe it comes back a little too far. Do it down more. Or just let it blend in that way. All right, so. Yep, tweak your edges and try to get them just right. The slightest little change can have a dramatic influence as to how your overall vehicle will look. Use the airbrush real quick. Set, set the airbrush to low flow. You can just kind of lightly dust, I guess, the area. Or you can use a marker and set it to low opacity to color something if you need to. Give it a little bit more separation. Maybe this section's darker. Who knows? It's up to you. Kind of split up your shapes a bit. You know what I'm saying? That edge is still bothering me. I don't know why, but it is. I think it's just too narrow. I don't like it. It's got almost like a classic car kind of feel to it. Because that rear end. I'm trying to think of it's like old Corvettes that do that or something. Spoilers like that, stingrays or something. Like the old ZR1. That little like round looking lights on it. Oh yeah, headlights. Yeah, just throw some headlights in, you'll probably be able to change them a lot when you do the 3D aspect of this, right? And so that's it for this video. I kind of kept going a little bit longer than I originally planned on, but Really quite simple, right? And now, now we got another vehicle. So, all in all, these these take no time at all, really, to come up with, and uh, should be able to have a choice of what you want to actually work. Because you know, you're doing a vehicle, you're gonna spend some time on it. So, you know, sketch them out first. Don't don't overthink it. Whatever's starting to look right to you, whatever you think looks the coolest, uh, go with it. All right. So I'll check you guys out in the next one. Till then, take care. All right.